All right, our next speaker is yet another Brendan. His name is Brendan Irvine Broke. He is the product manager of Cloudflare Workers at Cloudflare, where he leads the workers runtime team. Prior to this, he was part of the engineering leadership at Visco and Intercom, and is a former Y Combinator startup founder. Today, he'll be sharing on deploying Wasm to the edge. Please welcome Brendan. Hey everybody, um, so my name is Brendan. Uh, I work on Cloudflare Workers at Cloudflare. Um, and I want to just give you a little overview of some of the things that we're working on right now around WebAssembly. Um, but sorry to disappoint you to start. I'm here to talk a little bit about some very boring technology decisions that we've made um, and actually how those help us uh, give you a little bit more leverage and connect back to some of the exciting standards that I know we're all talking about today. Um, and so those two that I'll be talking about later are WIT and WIT BindGen, which we're really excited about, um, and I'd love to talk to folks after. Um, but before I do that, um, I have a saying that I go back to really frequently. Uh, it's a mantra called run less software. And I picked this up from an engineering director who I used to work with. Um, and the idea is like, you know, like trying to remove undifferentiated heavy lifting, uh, like kind of grunt work, um, and to really fight to manage fewer pieces. And, that's, I think, a lot of why we're all here. We're trying to make things more portable, uh, to remove a lot of the cruft. Um, Brendan, uh, big shoes to fill, um, was uh, talking a little bit about like APIs from the 1970s and like how do we get away from that. And so, for those who aren't familiar, Cloudflare has a full stack serverless developer platform. We have kind of workers for serverless compute, a number of databases, et cetera, um, and this is all kind of uh, globally distributed. Um, and serves many, many, many millions of requests per second right now. Um, so all over the world. And so Workers is fundamentally a web interoperable runtime. And that's really important to us. I know I'm in a room of people who are working on interesting new runtimes in the ecosystem, things that are kind of breaking out of where WebAssembly got its roots in the browser. Um, but we're built on top of V8. Um, and we really think that gives you the power of the web platform and web standards, um, but in a serverless context. And so the way that we do this right now is we have a project called Workers RS. Uh, Rust bindings uh, make it possible to write a worker 100% in Rust. Um, so we make really heavy use of WASM BindGen, um, the WebSys module within that uh, to make that happen. And so, you know, run through a little basics, like looks kind of like this. This is a kind of uh, worker that lets you fetch something from our KV store uh, and then uh, return a response. Pretty simple. There's a lot of people building similar things like this. Um, but Wasm Bind Gen really allows us to ship really fast and make APIs available in JavaScript and then get them available in WebAssembly on a really quick timeline. Um, another example, this is talking to D1, which is our SQL database. Um, and so this all works today. There's people using this in production, relying on it at scale all around the world. So that's like the boring stuff, like, you know, that works out of the box. Um, but we have this like kind of idea of being web interoperable. And, if you can do it in a web browser, like why not in a serverless function? And so some of what we're working on right now is taking some of the exciting APIs that are growing in web browsers that I think like really have a, a, a strong feature and making them available in a serverless context. So one example of that is the web GPU API. So this launched really a couple months ago. Um, I know people have been working on it for years. Um, but we're working on adding this to the workers' runtime itself so that you, you can make use of a GPU. Um, and this you know, works today. Check out the open source uh, workers' runtime, Cloudflare slash WorkerD. And so you might be asking, like, well, what does this JavaScript API have to do with WebAssembly? Like, why are you talking about it at a WASM conference? Um, but the thinking here is like, the the more of these that we can support, the faster we can make really interesting capabilities available in a serverless function from WebAssembly via bindings. And so what are the other things that are part of the web platform today that if you could support them in a serverless function, things like web transport, things like the WebRTC APIs from browsers, like what are the things you could build for a globally distributed application all over the world? And so, you know, I was talking about WASM BindGen before. There's also 
publishing WIT specifications, WIT definitions, and kind of using WIT bind gen to move a layer beyond that so that we're not um, kind of uh, having to, to write bindings on a, like, on a language specific basis. And so, you know, web operability really gives us like a lot of leverage, like a lot of portability across client and server. And that's where we think the opportunity really is. So you know, I mentioned WASM bind gen, like writing bindings for each language, obviously an unsustainable thing for everybody in order to support the broad set of languages that we know that developers want to bring to WebAssembly. Um, and so, you know, what we're increasingly thinking about is like what are the things that the, we can publish to make it easier for people to build their own bindings on top of Cloudflare? What are the interesting proposals that are happening around kind of on top of WASI? What are the standards of like, how do you talk to a key value store in a way that's portable across platforms? Um, and so we're excited about all of these new standards. Um, we love your feedback on workers. A lot of the reason why we're here at this conference is to talk to all of you and for you to tell us like, what do you want out of Cloudflare's platform? Um, so, love to meet as many of you in the hallway. Please feel free to say hi, and uh, thanks for your time.